Following the success of Batman, Tim Burton was put on the map. But rather than go into a second movie right away, Burton decided to tell a more personal story based on a drawing he did when he was a teenager. That story was Edward Scissorhands. Edward Scissorhands tells the story of an elderly inventor who creates a man much like Frankenstein. But the inventor dies before completing his creation, leaving him isolated and shut out from the rest of the world. But when an Avon lady finds him, she takes him to live with her family in the colorful suburban area. And the rest of the movie is Edward longing to be accepted by the outside world. This film marked the beginning of the partnership and collaboration of Tim Burton and actor Johnny Depp. Depp's performance is one of the most sympathetic and the most beautiful of any of his films that followed. You look at him and just weep. Where are your parents? Um, your mother? Your father? He didn't wake up. The beautiful Winona Ryder plays the love interest of the film. She and Johnny were lovers at the time, and I thought the chemistry together really helped the drama of this film. The film also stars Diane Weist and Alan Arkin and Anthony Michael Hall playing the biggest asshole in movie history since Walter Peck and Ghostbusters. Stay away from her, okay? I mean it. You can't touch anything without destroying it. Who the hell do you think you are even hanging around here anyway, huh? But by far the best choice in casting is Vincent Price as the inventor in his final appearance in a motion picture. There was an old man from the cave who made himself garments of crepe. When asked, will they tear, he replied, here and there, but they keep such a beautiful shape. <laughs> also, the emotion of this film is personified by the music score by Danny Elfman. With beautiful production design by Bo Welsh and makeup and special effects by the late Stan Winston, Edward Scissorhands was a major success when it opened in December of 1990. Edward Scissorhands is by far Tim Burton's masterpiece and has all the various things you would expect from a Tim Burton movie. It's also one of the films that made me cry. highly recommend this film.